Now this one looks promising. Oh, hello. You must be the kid Maze is always talking about. Can't imagine what he sees in you. Still, I suppose Maze knows best. But where are my manners? I'm Briar Rose. No doubt you've heard of me. No time for autographs, I'm afraid. I have to get to Knothole Glade for an important mission. Speaking of which, if you came for a quest card, all the best ones have gone already. I'm sure the Guild can find you something to do, though. I hear the kitchens need cleaning. Yeah, I'll pass on that, Briar Rose. Thanks. Hey guys, welcome back to Fable Anniversary. We are here in the Heroes Guild to do a little bit of quick business before we go do important things. Uh, let's check and see if this guy has any potions for us. We do have to... Oh my god, I can't buy any because I'm poor. Super poor. I can't... I don't have any money. That's understandable, though, I guess. So, what we're going to do really quick in the Heroes Guild, we're only going to be here for a short time. We're going to go fishing, and I will demonstrate how fishing works while we are here. <laughs> training to look that stupid. Oh my god. Everyone's going to be making fun of me for a little bit because my hairstyle is really dumb. Um, hopefully we can get that fixed soon. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, pudding basin, uh, gross. You look like that guy from Resident Evil. Uh. All right. There's the body of water. Now we got a fish. Fish is the down button. Fishing in this game is very simple. When you feel a bite, you hit the A button, and when the controller isn't vibrating. You rapidly smash the A button, and if you're not quick enough about it, you'll snap your line, but there's an infinite amount of lines. If, if you snap it, you just start over again. Just a little annoying. So, we're going to play this mini game here and uh, try to dredge up what is in the water here. A blue mushroom. I think in total we need four of them. We uh, found out that was actually there, um, by the way, because we talked to those two guys up on the hill, I believe. I don't remember. Straight up. What's this guy want? I see a green marker here. Is this the same guy? Oh, no, 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 that's the guild tour guy. Got it. Okay. Yeah, he is just someone that takes a bunch of people around the guild. We don't have to worry about him. And the other green marker up there is so the guild master. So let's go into the guild woods and get our other fishing spot taken care of. And I'm pretty sure this one is going to be a silver key. But there's also someone else in the guild woods. Who's this fellow? Hey, hi. Look, could you do me a massive favor? Ooh. My name's Cyril. Me and some friends had a little party here the other night, and I met this drop-dead gorgeous girl from Oakvale. Oh, Myra. Oh, dear. I mean, she was a stunner. At least I think she was. But I also thought the trees around us were running around on little chocolate legs, if you see what I mean. I see what you mean. Everyone was doing the shrooms. I understand. Anyway, I really want to see her again. Well, probably. I mean, maybe it was just the mushrooms and she's actually just an ugly stick victim. Wow. Maybe she isn't. What if she doesn't like me? Wow. You're a jerk. I'm going to take my chances all the same. Please. Take this letter to her in Oakvale. Oh my goodness. Alright. Letter from Cyril. I must know how she feels. The suspense is killing me. Well, oh, I'll one more thing. Do it. Don't try to pass the letter off as your own. I've spent weeks perfecting its sublime poetry. Alright. That's fine. Uh, we won't be... We're not gonna do that. <laughs> we're... We're... We're gonna go ahead and just give the letter to the lady and, uh, be nice to the guy. Because we're good people. We are good people. 
And he will like to do helpful things for people. Now, uh, wow, okay, there it was. I passed straight over it. Let's go fishing! Fishing, 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 fishing. I might fast forward these sections. It's pretty much the same minigame over and over and over again, and that's what I ended up doing in Bioshock for the hacking segments. Ha! Ha ha! Silver Key! You are a super player! Alright, so that's the third. I think most of the first starting chests that we'll be able to unlock require five silver keys. So, we will have five very quickly, actually, if I remember right. But, now that we have those two things taken care of, minor issues, we're going to go oh, no. <laughs> ahead and proceed with the main storyline. Um, the quest card table should have a quest for us to do. If we can run back there without getting stuck on trees and the like. Bat, 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 bat. Hi, Guildmaster. Wolf of Brimley. Patrick Stewart. Okay. This is our first quest card. Um, it's actually two quest cards. You can either choose to protect Orchard Farm or attack it. Um, attacking Orchard Farm gives you more money, while protecting it gives you less money, but is nice. And we're going to protect it. Because we're nice people. So... It gives you the option to take the quest and boast, or just take the quest. We're going to take the quest and boast. Because there's no real downside to boasting on this one if you boast in the correct fashion. You don't want to override one boast with the other. There are boasts that make other boasts really hard to do. Like, for example, no protection a s without... Or, uh, no protection beside without a scratch is really difficult. Um, but they were kind of counter- what am I saying? Hang on. Hang on, I'm being dumb. Uh, without a scratch is really hard to do, uh, unless you have physical shield. But, in order to use physical shield, you can't take no protection. So, no protection, as well as without a scratch, that's a very hard combo of things to do. You normally only take one or the other. Um, usually... Without a scratch gives you a bigger money reward than no protection, so I'll do without a scratch. But, in this case, because we don't have physical shield yet, I'm just going to do no protection. Um, we're also going to do... Protect property, make sure no boxes or artifacts are stolen. And we're going to do protect guards, but ensure that no guards will die. Uh, Fist Fighter is going to be very difficult because we need, we actually can really uh, use our bow on this quest. Our bow is really handy for this. Um, and if my sniping skills are really good, I might be able to kill all of the enemies before they even get to us with my bow. Um, and obviously I've explained why we're not doing without a, stra a scratch because take no damage without physical shield is very difficult to do. Alright. Let's make sure all of our boasts actually registered by going up on the thing, and those are the only two boasts we did not do. So we're just gonna hold it steady right there. I hope you can do what you said. And then I'm gonna go ahead and explain how hero titles work. You might have heard a lot of people calling me Chicken Chaser. The reason a lot of people are calling me Chicken Chaser is because I actually have, or you start off with, the Chicken Chaser title. Um, there's a number of titles that, if you pick one, everyone will call you that. The most expensive is Avatar, and Avatar just makes everyone go, Oh, you're amazing, oh. But, for the sake of this playthrough, I'm going to call myself Assface. Why? Because I think it'll be funny. I could be wrong, but I think it'll be funny. So we are now the hero known as Assface. Jenna and Isaiah, the farmers, are having a bad time at all. Hooray! So, with our new power of being called Assface, we're gonna head off and, uh... First of all, actually, I want to show you something. Because the statue, it turns out, is pointing to Borrowstone. Borrowstone? 
person. I can talk. I know words.